Okay, now let's go over how to install the truck assembly and the bogey. So you'll have two side frames and a main body frame for each bogey. And so you'll note that there's this channel at the bottom of the side frame and then a similar channel here on the frame. So what you'll do is from the top, you'll align those two, wiggle them a bit to get them to fit, and then slide it together. When you get these, the first time you do it, it'll be pretty probably be very difficult to get these in there, but they will fit. Just get them in there like that, and some advice maybe would be put it on the table, and then just push down, straight down. And so once you got that in there, you could take the screws I'm providing, and you'll see there's a hole here for you to screw in and fasten the side frame to the main frame. And this will prevent any kind of, you know, from the weight of the vehicle pulling these up. That's what wants to happen. So those will hold that in place. I would recommend adding some glue in here before sealing it just a little bit because there's not a lot of space. So any excess glue is gonna come out the top and you'll have to wipe that off. So just a dab of glue in addition to the screw should prevent you having any kind of issues with the truck separating. And so that's how you do your truck assembly. I found that the wheels, the axles, seem to go in here pretty easily without removing the whole assembly. So there's that, pop that in there. And so by spreading these apart, I can get it just enough to fit these in there and it works pretty good. So you may want to consider um, lubing those axle points and maybe even enlarging them if you have a, a small drill bit or a knife or something just to make them move better. As you can see, they're a little, just a little on the tight side. They definitely roll. Um, so that's just the printer tolerances. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different, um, but depending on how much flexibility you want there, you may want to enlarge it a little bit with an X-Acto blade, you know, just put it in the hole and twist it um, like this. Just take this here, put a blade in here, you know, rotate a couple times just to make it a little larger. That's one way to do it. And then by lubing it, you'll also increase or decrease the amount of friction happening at this spot. And so that is how you do one of the truck frames. Next, let's look at how to assemble the body of the car. So here you'll see the main parts for the body. I have the main beam pieces here. You'll see the holes in the center. So these are the ends. This is the center. You'll see the indention here where the cross beams fit. So this is one cross beam. It doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, they're identical, they're symmetrical. Um, Take it, and you'll note that they've press fit in there pretty good to the point where they're, they're held on. Um, that is not how you want to have it fine, you know, at the final assembly. I would recommend putting some glue in there, press fitting, up, fitting it together. And then what we'll do is we'll do that to the other side. Press fit it together. And then what you'll do is on one end, you'll take the collar, the joining collar, and push it in as far as it'll go. You'll take one of these dowels that's provided one per car because you'll note these circles, the holes in the middle. What you do is you can insert that and then that acts as a spar to give the, the beam rigidity. So you can see how I'm bending it and it's not flexing at all. Yeah, I mean, it, it gives it plenty of rigidity so it doesn't bend on you or bow or anything else. So that is what supports it pretty securely there. And that is how you put together the car itself. You'll note on the underside, there's some holes here and here. That is for the trucks to be inserted into. So what you'll do is you'll take these, I call them the pivots, and we'll just set them here for now. And then what we do is we have our truck from earlier. Just put this back on. And these will go like that. Oh, let me put this on. So you'll see the little hole here goes into the truck. So you can rotate. Then this is going to go over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a screw like this. 
that I'm providing, and you're going to screw this all the way through. And what that does is when it screws all the way through, you want it so it's just a hair bit loose when it's all the way screwed down, just a little bit. And that way it'll allow this to move because if you crunch it down too much, it might grip the plastic too much and it won't move. So screw it down just enough so it maybe it doesn't move and then one quarter turn back should be enough and then that can rotate. And once you install this screw all the way through, this will hold all of these pieces together. The cross beam, the main beam, the pivot point, and the truck will all be held together with that one piece. Um, I also provide a washer. So there's going to be a washer that goes there and then this goes through it. And then that's how you do that. And then you do the same thing on the opposite side. And then the very last thing I would do after you've done that is you add the straps. The straps are nothing fancy. Um, they're a little too small and delicate to really do um, you know, a screw or anything. So I would just recommend some CA glue, put a dab here and a dab there. And then you just put this down, hold it for a few seconds and then let go. And if, when, if you have glue, it'll hold it there in place. And you just do that for the other three locations. Um, assembly time should be less than 10 minutes for one of these, probably closer to five. After you've done it once, it'll go really quick. Um, I would recommend painting, putting this together like this, and then I would paint it. Um, or even better yet, I might recommend having it like this, taking this collar off, painting it, painting the collar separately. You, I usually do mine in like a metallic color. Then when you assemble it together, um, put some glue in this collar, the joiner, push them together and uh, it'll be nice and solid. And then you already have it painted, ready to go. And the only thing you'll have to do next is with a hand brush, maybe go through and paint the little plates here, a metal color if you desire. Um, to be honest, the wood logs usually cover most of it. So you don't really see it anyway, but um, that is one option. And then of course the trucks and the pivot, you can paint these while they're separated. And then when you assemble everything together, there's a lot less painting of details you have to worry about with the whole thing put together. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, post them on the link below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks.